What is going on people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab and I had a feeling this one was coming. It's the reason I've been holding off on a few things but today we're going to talk about my reaction to the announcement of DJI's Mavic Mini, the brand new drone that was announced today. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is the YouTube channel to accompany our website, creativetechlab.com, where we do talk about all things creative. Right now on the channel, a lot about run and gun videography. So if you're into that kind of thing or any other creative endeavor as we build out the platform, please go ahead hit the subscribe button that would be greatly appreciated all right so as i said we are today we are talking about the dji mavic mini what is essentially the update to the spark although they have given it the mavic name so i had a feeling this video was coming i've actually been wanting to do my own take on the mavic air since i've had it about a year now but i was holding off on it because i felt like dji was going to update is drone catalog at some point in time and i didn't want that video to be outdated as soon as i dropped it but with all the different regulations that have been going on in different drone countries and everybody tightening down on um, regulatory rules regarding the skies and drones and stuff i wasn't sure if dji was going to drop a new drone or if they were just going to keep focusing on their osmo actions and their gimbals and stuff like that but lo and behold we finally have a new drone now speaking of regulations this thing is tiny it is 249 grams which is just under the 250 grams that you need something to be in order to reg register it with most aviation regulatory boards which i feel like is dji's way just to stick it a little bit to all the new regulations coming through i don't know we'd have to ask somebody from press but just from the way it looks it just seems like that's what it would be so it is tiny it is smallest drone it is lighter than the spark was and definitely a smaller footprint we'll get into about the air in a little bit let me just read off some other things there um let's see here we have a three axis gimbal which is an upgrade from the spark we have in terms of video quality we have 2.7k which is i guess what they're calling quad hd but no 4k which is a little bit of a downer but again it's an entry level drone big upgrade in terms of battery life so we have 30 minute max flight time i don't know what that actually be in terms of actual flight time i will link to um potato jets video and also peter mckinnon's video down below and up here as well potato jet did a long video and it's probably the most extensive one that i've seen so far once i get my hands on an actual unit i will do one there but 30 minute record um record time is a big deal that's more than the air let's see in terms of intelligent flight modes we have droney we have rocket we have circle we have helix we have no asteroid and interestingly there is no active track mode which was i believe was in the spark is definitely in the air kind of strange that they left that off maybe that'll come in a firmware update and then we have cine smooth mode which i which should be similar to your cinematic mode that's in the air which kind of slows everything down and just makes it easier to create those more cinematics cinematic movements um price is 399 dollars for just the drone and the remote and one battery and then the fly more combo is 499 dollars and that comes with the extra batteries the charging case a carrying case all the stuff that dji normally includes which is probably what you would want to go with with a drone of this caliber now as i stated this is obviously your new entry-level drone is the replacement for the spark but i think if it is that you're in the market and you're looking for a new drone you're definitely going to be comparing this between the air and the new mavic mini i know a lot of the people that actually got their hands on it fly big drones and they all want to compare it to the pro and it's cool to see what the difference in image quality would be between the mavic mini and the drone just on the two far ends of the spectrum but more realistically you're going to want to see what it looks like with the ear again once i get my hands on the actual unit i will go ahead and compare it to the ear that i have here but let's go ahead and just do a little bit of comparisons here in camera and i we could just do it based off of the specs and what we have and then i give my thoughts on where i think we should be 
spoiler alert i will still be keeping my mavic air this will not be replacing it but let's get a little screenshot going here and we could put the two things up on the screen ironically on the dji website you cannot compare the new mavic mini to the mavic air in the comparison sheet this might just be an oversight on whoever put up the new drone today but i also feel like nobody wants to talk about the air in the same breath as the mavic mini i get into those things let's get through the actual specs first before i start speculating i'll switch over to the screen so on the left we have the mavic mini here on the right we have the mavic air so specs in terms of takeoff weight we are looking at about half we know that this thing is tiny we have 249 grams next to 430 grams dimensions wise though as far as the actual footprint is not that different so length with um height we have folded at um 140 i believe that's the millimeters um 82 49 so you can see that it's not that different folded up we're talking about 23 millimeters there on the um, actual length and then as far as it actually folded up and then unfolded again it's not that big of a difference in terms of um actual footprint there so i think compactability wise we are not looking at something that is definitely lighter but it's not too much um smaller in terms of footprint um taking up space in a bag and such um max ascent speeds and descent speeds that's about the same thing max speed the even though they don't quote this here in the actual this is meters per seconds versus kilo, um, kilometers per hour the mavic air is about twice as fast which also makes it seem like it's about as twice as powerful as the mavic mini here let's see here we already went through record time again we know that the max flight time with no wind here, we're getting better flight time on the Mavic Mini. That might just be due to, I'm sure there's some software um, improvements there since that it's a newer drone. And then again, we're not outputting that much more power and overall footprint in terms of space for a battery, I believe should be around the same. So that's probably why we're getting a little bit better there. Another big thing that we're missing here, let's see if we could match these up properly but sensing systems there we go well our only thing we have there is downward sensing on the mavic mini so i think again as a first time consumer drone i believe that the mavic air obviously gets the one up there because we have forward and backward and downward sensing there so less more a lot less prone to crashes there and camera there we go camera so we have a similar sensor this is a one over 2.3 inch um, cmos sensor um, with 12 megapixels there all those specs seem to be about the same however the mavic mini again as a new just regular consumer drone there seems like it doesn't have any manual video capabilities there iso on the video range there it looks like it's only auto so again maybe you don't want to have to be figuring out about all that stuff but i would say the mavic air once it is that you start flying stuff and you get into cameras you're going to want to um shutter speed motion blur not as big if you're flying up high but if you are getting close to stuff you kind of want that motion blur um as mentioned before no 4k 2.7k is of course the 4k and then we also have a max video uh, bit rate of 40 megabits per second as opposed to 100 megabits per second here on the mavic ear so also on the camera all we have here we have the we did mention the 4k or whatever but as far as frame rates we have 25 and 30 in the 2.7k no 24 frames per second if you care about that kind of thing and then in hd mode we have 25 30 50 and 60 as opposed to on the mavic air we could go up to 120 frames per second in hd mode so i think those things are going to be kind of important what else do we have here the remote control as we go back up here is going to be similar there they both work over wi-fi signals so 
no AkiSync or whatever, but that was supposed to be expected. They're not gonna put AkiSync in an entry level drone. That would be insane and it would make the price crazy. Micro SD cards, obviously it takes a micro SD card. No internal storage on the Mavic Mini either. Kind of to be expected, but that is definitely helpful on the Mavic Air, especially when you get out and you're like, oh shit, my memory card is either full or it, you forgot the um, memory card because you took it out to upload footage to the computer. That eight gigabytes comes in clutch when you're already out with the drone. You don't have to think about another thing because you have enough just to get that done there. So gimbal again, upgraded over the Spark. So let's see. The, and then lastly, price. So I think we went in $399 to start on the DJI website. I did not notice this might be in here in the United States and due to um, China tires, but the Mavic Air has gone up in price. On BNH Photo, it seems to be around that $800 mark as a time of this shooting, but on the DJI site, it's up to 900 and something dollars, which is also interesting there. You can then China tires for that kind of stuff. So in terms of my reaction, my actual reaction, my actual thoughts to this drone, I will try and get my hands on it so I can do an actual comparison. I feel like a lot of people got talking points from DJI and all they did was really compare it to the Mavic Pro, which is a absurd comparison. It doesn't really compare. I feel like close to the air as far as what you would do. If it is that you're not really into videography and this is just for like family vacations, family videos, family stills or whatever, and you're just getting into it. I think at $399, this is an awesome replacement for the Spark, even at $499 for the Fly More combo. I think just go ahead and get it. Now, if it is that you do any kind of professional, no, I shouldn't say professional. When it is that you kind of start getting into the prosumer and you actually care about your editing and you care about, um, 4K, which I think on a small sensor like this is kind of like when you're shooting with an iPhone, the higher resolution that you get out of that small sensor really does help with the image quality um, and you're getting the higher bit rates as well. So if you're gonna be color grading, if it is that you're in for um, 24 frames per second, I do think things like the extra sensors to prevent you from crashing, I would definitely still go for the Mavic here. So my gear acquisition syndrome is not really acting up here. I will get this drone and see if I really like it, but I definitely don't think it would be a replacement for the Mavic Air and anybody that's thinking about getting their force drone, I still think the Mavic Air is the place to get into the ballpark, especially if you're gonna grow your videography skills or your wants or whatever. The Mavic Air is something that you could definitely grow into where I feel like the Spark is something that you will grow out of if it is that you have bigger aspirations for your drone photography or videography or whatever it is that you're putting it into. So that's my two cents in terms of the Mavic Mini. I will get my hands on it. It is released on November 11th. So hopefully I'll have one shipped to me by then. And once that happens, then we'll go ahead and we'll do a comparison to the Air. I'll do one, I'll probably just do one big one to the Spark, the Air, and the zoom because that would still be within range, I guess. Just We'll just have it there just to have it there. So yeah, look out for that. If you're looking for more videography, run and gun, travel, compact type of stuff, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, and we have a lot more content coming, and I will catch you in the next one. Deuces, peace.